Hey everybody, Curtis Lucina here, and today we are taking the ZBD-86. This is a Chinese APC. Uh, I'm taking this one today because I recently, I just unlocked a skin I've been hoping would come around in the uh, Battle Pass store, and finally it did, and it's the Neon skin, and I have the M62000 Neon, and now I've finally got this one. And, I don't know, I just love the Neon aesthetic. But, a uh, little history on the on the ZBD-86. Uh, China had the, uh, the Type 63, uh, Ouch. Stop shooting at me, punk. Ow! Stop it! Alright. Uh, they had the Type 63 APC, and they realized after Vietnam that they were wildly outclassed. And the proliferation of the uh, BMP-1 from Russia, they, you know, they wanted to use it. And... So, you know, China pulls the old strategically transfer equipment to alternate locations, and they acquire one. From where, it's unclear. Uh, but they get their hands on one. Oh, my. Oh, why? Ooh. Okay. So they get their hands on one. Come on, let me get over there. Ow. That one's just thumping shells into that one spot. Boom! So, okay, yeah, so, China, you know, does the whole, you can copy my homework, but make it look different thing, but their difference is literally that missile launcher, that's it. It's their Red Arrow missile launcher, which even that is a copy of the, um, Maliuka, uh, missile system. And, you know, they mount it on this, on the, on a BMP-1. And they're like, look, new tank. And, you know, the world is just, you know, not exactly impressed, but nor do they really seem to care. And they build thousands of these things. The problem is, is because it's a BMP-1, like, exact copy of a BMP-1, uh, exporting became very difficult because everyone was going, you're selling an, a BMP-1. And it, like, in a lot of sales records and whatnot, where they're trying to, uh, like, it's a pain to try to confirm whether or not it's actually that particular vehicle whether it's the ZBD or the BMP-1. And this causes a lot of problems because you know, the BMP is not great and it was outclassed almost the moment it was built. The moment they released the BMP-1, it was already uh, outdated and outclassed by everything. And so they were stuck with this thing and they tried to sell some. Uh... The rumor has it some ended up in China's, uh, or not, or ended up in Iranian hands, but that's, it's hard to confirm. Uh, you know, records aren't entirely clear 
nor are they cohesive, and China's not exactly, you know, forthcoming with their uh, with their, you know, sales reports on, you know, tank exports. And the project kind of flops. Uh, they have China has been re steadily replacing them, but due to the sheer number of them that they have, they don't really, like, I don't know, they're not really in a rush to do it, because they still function. And, uh, they don't really need to. There's, they're still working, there's no rush, they have tons of troops that they need to keep armed, and so these are still in service today. Probably more in a, I don't know if China has it, but more of a reserve role. And that was a cool little kickflip off the rocks. But uh, I would assume it's probably been moved into more of a reserve role. Uh, I wouldn't want this thing at the forefront of my battles if I had a handful of them, seeing as they're outclassed by almost, what would be 40 years now? Would it? Yeah, 40 years. That's a 40 year old, t you know, 40 year old APC at the forefront of the fight. Not a good look. So they are steadily being replaced. It's going to take time though. Oh, that's such a slow missile. Boy, even the reload on it is slow. I could shoot him faster with this thing. Ow! Alright, end of view. That stupid combat pickle's still alive. How did it get all the way over here, though? <laughs> But yeah, a bit, I, you know, this thing's on its way out. Hopefully in a lot of countries, it's really just kind of a... Uh, no! Stop it! I can't even shoot at that thing. Well, I guess now's the time when we all just kind of rush over there and... Yeah, I bet you the last lieutenants on that rock behind that, or, you know, behind that rock over there. I wonder if I can... There we go. Got him. <laughs> so yeah, this thing's kind of a rolling mess uh, on the modern battlefield. It's it's completely obsolete today. I mean, it was almost obsolete when it was conceived. And it's being phased out. And these things sat in the inventories of a lot of countries for a long time. And even those countries are starting to phase them out for literally any other thing. Even if it's a wet, uh, like a NATO tank or like a Chinese or Russian vehicle. They're trying to get rid of these things as fast as they can for anything newer and modern. But 
I, I, I enjoyed in this game solely because of that skin. And I finally have it. And so I put it on there. Other than that, it had my... Uh, that typical Enigma, like, construction vehicle skin or whatever it is. You know, the skin nobody else in the game uses. But, yeah, so... That's the ZBD-86 Neon. And five kills with 9,000 damage is actually kind of not bad for a Tier 4. That's kind of on par. You know, for, you know getting in there and getting dirty. I probably could have done better had I not sat on that hill so long trying to guide a missile that it's probably faster to mail it. But, I don't know. It is what it is. You know, got some got some missile kills in. Moved up on a lot of these and got a contract. If you, if you, uh... And this tank does look really cool on, on night missions. Uh, which is dumb because it still offers a f plus five percent camouflage bonus, but it does look really neat in the dark because you just all you see are the, a bunch of lines all over, a bunch of colored lines just kind of moving through. So, if you enjoyed that mission, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you to those that already have. Uh, comment down below if you'd like to see a, a vehicle on the field of battle, even if it's one I've already driven. And I will see you guys in the next mission. Until then, have fun.